Merry Christmas, filthy chart rebels. Or, we are here today on this very video to show about what should happen for next year going onwards. And given that yours truly has his New Year's resolutions, license and uniting with his favorite girl, I suggest we new Year's resolutions for other people. Even gaming companies. Yes. So without further ado, this is Matt Boggs, New Year's Resolution 2019. Number one, Nintendo. We've seen Nintendo make heck-ass games one game after another. Kirby's Our Allies was pretty fun. I mean, we even got to see, like, Bowser's Inside Story being remade, which is kick-ass. It was supposed to come out three days from now, actually going into next year's January 11th. But there's still one question. What next? Because the game we want, Martin Luigi Paper Jam 2, might be in development, but we still need some more pushing favorite things. And what better pushing favorite things than by having with paper couplings Paper Bone Goomba, Spatooies, Don Arena's Ice Bros, Sub Bros. What's other Bowser minions like Cheap Cheeps, Fuzzy Beetles, alongside their regular counterparts? Because since the first Paper Jam didn't have any Paper Cheap Cheeps, Fuzzy Beetles, and Pokies. And not to mention, we like to see the pink shagas and the yellow shagas team up with their paper kind of parts too. Because, easy, easy way to make one which paper jam too. Just a different plan for the two Bowsers. Have the Koopalings team with their paper counterparts. We get more team up with their paper counterparts. So on and so forth. We even get to see the his counterpart and yada yada. And, it should be ready, so particularly announced that Energy Fair Jam 2 would be announced at, the, at next year's upcoming E3. Or during a Nintendo Direct during the spring. Easier done than said. Number two. Bamco. Since the 101 Embryo Project from Oyuma is dead and gone, and we still have yet to see Oyuma Europe, and it's almost been three to four fucking years since that, why not give Oyuma Europe a chance? Because it's been, I don't know, recently. But still, we deserve it. Because if you pay close attention to various dialogue, Bad detective. So you're being told to sh told by Shy and Move that Uma might be making their next move. You still need to see how they're going to Uma Europe and the chaos from the other side, i.e. the West. It just makes you wonder what revived villains could they think up? The return of the Genji clan, since we've seen like a river stinks being present in an unused screenshot and the Particularly two. More Streets of Rage Reppin or a bunch of other villains. More minions. We'll never know. Must be a sad situation indeed, but still. I'd love to see that happen. Because as I always say, to give the masses what they want. Number three, Minion Rippers. We've gotten a bunch of good minions here and there, we've clarified some stuff, but we still need what we want. We need the Ape Stone, the Skelebat, the Guillotine, the Flyer, the Red Guardian, X71, Roomsman, Kyun B. And they are still at large, and we still need those remaining snowman minions along with the stilt guys. 
the Black Shaggy, or third appearance of Mario Kart 8 slash Kart 8 Deluxe. And not to mention that part of New Year's Resolution also has the flying Galumba needed to return in a modern Mario game since the Mario Nintendo you know, failed to pick up on it in Super Mario Party just by having the Galumba there. And I think we still need to have like a new Kirby game with real Orange of the King Samuel because there is another dimension failed to keep that promise of all the bigger bought to their bosses. They still didn't have replaced enemies. And not only that, I would love to see the amazing Fine Hammer Bro reappear because we've seen Fishing Moon Super Mario run. And I seen amazing Fine Hammer Bro. We also need like Jump Pearl on a Planet, Snow Spike, Crowbear, and Keeper on a Planet, all that. And if any new games in 2019 can get us some good mini money, I ain't no arguing. Speaking of which, New Year's number, number four. Dragon Quest Monster Work. Well, we are thankful for Dragon Quest Eleven for giving us some good monster minion money. Especially some Dragon Quest Ten monsters, Mesa Gura. Yes, that's what he's called in the Dragon Quest Illustrations book. There is still a consensual decline in monster artwork numbers. Rocky Toriyama being under pressure from, you guessed it, the evil Paradise Papers. Documents that not only expose the secrets of the rich, all the wealthy elitists in the world, not just America, which is fine. Unfortunately, the one thing it snagged, Rocky Toriyama. Yeah. Because we still have yet to get all the artwork for the Pilferer, Tiger Jackal, Jackal, Klepto Reptile, a bunch of other monsters, and yet we've been given dick in return through those fucking papers. And, not to mention, Bernie Sanders supports the Paradise Papers for revealing the secrets, but also unwittingly supporting no monster minions, which means no minion armies, and which is very bad for video game villain business. Because I will say, Burn, you did inspire me and my friends, but unfortunately you're nothing to us now. Since you support those papers, and since you hate monsters and war against 